We are here today to celebrate the STEM Club work of Shireland Collegiate Academy and the impact it has on their students' engagement. So we've had a huge benefit of STEM-based activities here at Shireland. Um, the department's quite new. I set it up about three years ago um, in September 2013. We started with an initial cohort of 11 in year, uh, in year 11, so it's GCSE group. We've now gone up in GCSEs to 200 students in year 11, um, which is a, a huge increase within three years. And our sixth form increases have gone from uh, three in year 12 to 60. I actually put that down to a lot of the STEM-based activities that we do here. Um, because the students really get engaged and it's, it's almost learning through having a bit of fun, trialling and testing and doing things a bit different um, whilst also doing maths, science, English and, and a bit of technology as well. The STEM subjects that I study are ICT, uh, Business, Product Design, Applied Science and Punjabi AS and the subjects that I have they're all linked together in a way, so which would help me to do my in my career progression, and I think it's a great opportunity to study these subjects at Shireland. So here's my project, as you can see, it's been inspired by a nature and a sci-fi concept. The reasoning of making this project was back strain injuries within the UK was increasing a lot, so I designed a chair that would ergonomically be designed to prevent these type of injuries. There are numerous activities uh, revolving around STEM, to be honest. We do 4x4 four four in schools, we do focus days, quite a few different after school clubs, designed and developed boats. Most prestigious one as far as we're concerned is probably the F1. The project is about working as a team to create all sorts of different things like portfolio, um, kind of presentation, you need to create a pit display and ultimately you need to create a car. Um, with the graphic designer I created um, kind of all the artsy parts of it, so uniform, I created colour schemes and logos. Um, my friend Dowd, who's also in the team, suggested it to me before we both started. I thought it'd be kind of fun to do. I decided to get involved with the F1 in school's design project. For me it was a no-brainer because I love F1 since I was five, it was just a passion. I saw the fast cars and all the stuff that goes behind it and all the engineering. It just excited me. Elvin, who's one of our teachers, won the uh, regional finals of the F1 in schools competitions. We won the regional finals and then we got to the national finals in Silverstone and in my opinion it was the best experience of my life. The students are actually involved with the activities in the STEM clubs and after school and even on the focus days as well are incredibly enthusiastic and it helps their classwork especially on a technical basis, I've gained many experiences. So socialising with people that I've never known before, also um, putting my ideas across to on pen on paper. But also, I wasn't that really good at technology. Now I've gained my technological ideas so I can do it on AutoCAD as well. In terms of employability and skill-wise, I did lots of problem solving, as well as communication skills, ICT skills, using various platforms and hardware of the design and technology uh, machinery. I think the, the huge value of extracurricular activities is that um, we, we can add a, a level of depth that otherwise you don't get. So um, an awful lot of our youngsters stay behind. They'll do all sorts of STEM-based activities, um, particularly around design and technology. Pro product design in this school has been just um, phenomenally successful. It, it's actually becoming an issue to get them to go home. How important are extracurricular activities in a school like Shireland? Enormously important. For me, because I used to be a head of science and technology, actually the fact they've got a flavour of STEM is even more impressive. So, hugely impressive and important for us. It's nice to see them coming in and actually being able to independently use a lot of the machinery and a lot of the equipment that we have here. And also, getting the confidence to actually come in and do that because it helps us in the long run because their GCSE results, their confidence, their coursework, etc, etc, has a knock-on effect from being involved with this kind of stuff. The more exposure they have to engineering, the more exposure they have to design, the better the chances there are of getting a, you know, a better grade at GCSE, which is inevitably what we're here to do at the end of the day. If everyone saw what you could achieve from this, everyone in the world would do this right now.